Hey everyone, sorry that it's been so long since I have posted anything new, uh, but I think I have an excuse that I've been in the middle of a cross-country move from San Diego, California to Rochester, New York to take up my new position as professor and department chair of the Department of Chemical Engineering at University of Rochester. And actually it was at U of R when I was a junior in high school when I realized by touring an organic electronics lab that I wanted to do research. It was also where I learned that researchers uh, and PhD programs got paid $17,000 a year to do work like that, which in the year two, 1999 or 2000 was a lot of money. And uh, the other thing that happened this week is that I finally got a hard copy of my book. This is my first ever book of any kind, the first of, I hope, many. This is a textbook that I co-authored with my friend and co uh, and student Robert uh, Ramji and uh, so basically the division of responsibility was as follows um, I kind of drafted the first uh, 14 chapters he entirely wrote chapter 15 and then he did uh, all of the uh, fact checking and copy editing uh, and uh, also focus groups with students and got all of their feedback incorporated in the first edition which this is I'm very proud of it um, it's this nice hefty volume it's 432 pages uh, and uh, I really had some fun with it there's some a number of uh, interesting you know sorry to for this to be an advertisement but um, you know that's all I'll say sorry <laughs> sorry not sorry um, I did some interesting things I think we did some interesting things with this so the first paragraph here has a QR code and you can scan that to get a video summary done by me or Robert for chapter 15 on the chapter and then each chapter also has um, a good number of worked problems so here are the problems and then the solutions are right after so in all the book has 150 uh, worked problems in it all of the figures we drew by hand and I think the purpose of this was not because uh, I don't necessarily have that great of skills at digital art although that's also true um, but it was just really fun to make it kind of look like a lecture we tried really hard to make the tone of the writing in the book something that um, that a f um, that a committed first year undergraduate could uh, could understand but that people farther on in their uh, in their careers in their studies or even in their industrial careers could have something as a desk uh, reference topics that we uh, that we cover include um, uh, an introduction to nanoengineering, then forces between atoms, molecules, particles, and surfaces, uh, then forces due to the size confinement, uh, molecular engineering, including a uh, brief intro to organic materials uh, engineering, uh, some uh, polymers, multifunctional polymers, and then a good chunk of the book is about nanofabrication engineering as well as self-assembly, top-down versus uh, bottom-up. And it all kind of has um, the same sort of slightly humorous, hopefully a little bit um, off the beaten track uh, edge that uh, hope and honesty that hopefully you've come to appreciate from this channel over the years. This is my cat, uh, Zoe. Hi, Zoe. Um, all right, so I hope to uh, I hope to converse more with uh, you folks about the book, what you liked, what you'd like to see in a second edition, what other books you might want to see, and uh, you can I'll link to some places where you can buy the book um, in the uh, in the description of this video. Uh, keep in mind that I did not set the price. <laughs> keep in mind that the um, that the production of a university or scholarly uh, monograph is actually um, pretty hard to subsidize because there aren't that 
many people who buy the books, so the price point has to be pretty high. Uh, but hopefully, um, you know, you can find it uh, somewhere if you don't choose to uh, to buy it. So take care, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.